In news, my wonderful people, Arek Beshola and his allies are leaving APC. One may be wondering, who is this Arek Beshola? Well, he's the man who has fallen out with Ashiwaju uh, uh, Ahmed Bola Tinubu. And um, Tinubu's group are pointing fingers to him. That is part of the reasons, you know, Tinubu's brother did not win the election. As you know, he had a real serious disagreement and fallout with uh, with Tinubu over his brother having a second say. No, say the guy did not do well. In fact, he made reference to, you know, Ambode saying, you want your brother to have a second tenor, but you refuse Ambode the same opportunity. When the time for election came that he should have stood with the man, he traveled to the United, to the United States of America. And so one of his close allies is leaving um, APC and is telling Nigerians there is nothing progressive about that party. It's all lies. You know, it's all, you know, a lot of lies. And, you know, Bolu, Bolu Ronode is the, is the, you know, is the guy. He said, well, I have to leave the party. There is nothing progressive about it at all. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. There is nothing progressive in the APC I left. It is full of deceit. Aregbe Shola ally Wole Bolu Roduro declares. Wale Bolu Roduro, who is an ally of the former governor of Oshun State, Rafi Aregbe Shola, has left the All Progressive Congress to the People Democratic Party in the state. Mm -hmm. Wale is a former commissioner for finance of Oshun during the tenure of Aregbe Shola as the governor of the state. Recently, with Aregbe Shola fallout with Tinubu, a lot of their allies are leaving the All Progressive Congress. He is one of the statue states of the incumbent governor, Oyetola. Wale, who was speaking at an official leaving of the All Progressive Congress to the People Democratic Party in Eshobo, Jesse stated that he left the All Progressive Congress because his glory was being covered and his contribution trampled upon. He added that the APC is full of deceit and there is nothing called progressive in the party. You can see that the former governor of the state, Arek Shola, has no choice. He's still there because for now, I will wait and see the decisions he will make. There is nothing progressive about the party. It's all lies, individuals trying to take over the party for themselves. I left APC because my glory was being covered. Yes, individuals are the ones who are deciding the faith of the party. Individuals sit together and plan and orchestrate and put together things for the party, even if it has a detriment of the party, Nigerians and all. I cannot stay in such a place. They were covering my glory and I knew it. APC is full of deceit. There is nothing progressive about that party. Wale is the second high profile APC member in Oshun State to officially decamp to the People Democratic Party, saying, I know my principal, Arek Shola, will be following very soon. So these are things going on and everybody, every one of us, we can see. And um, if you hear very well, making reference to Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobo, saying, listen, there is nothing progressive about that party. Okay, it's just the likes of Tinobo and the rest trying to, you know, control the affairs of the party, decide what happened, go ahead and, you know, whatever they say, they think they can just have their way. It doesn't work that way. No, it doesn't work that way, you know. And he said he's leaving the party because, and honestly, he has looked at it, he has rationalized it. There is nothing progressive about the party, and he feels very, he feels, he feels he will betray himself and lying to himself if he stays in such a place where there is really nothing going on and everybody's lying to themselves. Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu is not only controlling Lagos, you know, but of, of course you can see that with the with the arising of the new uh, the new uh, governor elect uh, Adeleke, you know, his grip over that state is beginning to break and to lose and to you know become shattered. He says Tinubu is in Lagos, but he wants to control Shun. I mean, yes, at some point Tinubu has said it before that he is even richer than the whole of the Oshun state. That's Tinubu's words, not mine. That is richer than Oshun State. Well, I don't know his net worth. I'm not his accountant. I've never had business or dealings with him. However, 
you know, Oshun State is as good as gone because these are people who are looking at situation and looking at things and saying there is no need, okay, to continue in a place of deceit. And in his own defense, he said his glory was being covered. Oh my, he said the glory was being covered. There was nothing, you know, coming out for him. He felt that, you know, his glory was being covered. Um, he was not going anywhere with the current, you know, current push and what have you. He just felt like things were not working and he cannot continue you like that you know and um, he just have to make a move he has joined the people democratic party he has left the all progressive congress in oshun state and he kept making reference to aregbe shola and if you look at it quite critically you know that aregbe shola you know may i did not say he has uh, may leave based on you know um setting you know the fallout he's had with uh, uh, with uh, uh, tinubu but he cannot leave now Remember, he's the Minister of Interior. Uh, he's in charge of the prisons and the rest. So even though he knows some things, okay, he's tied. He's, uh, he's hooked, okay, because Buhari appointed him as a minister. He was not, he's not a senator or a House of Representatives member that can move from one party to the other. He can only leave when he's tenor as minister or he can leave and buhari can appoint somebody else but you know nigerian politicians they are so oh my 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 they can't do that too hey leave the money money care no they won't do that they won't do that they would rather stay there you know they would rather stay there because of what they will get human being as it is anyway well this is what is happening and they, we know that a regular cannot live now no he can't live is a minister, like I said, for the fact that he was appointed by, you know, uh, uh, Buhari, he cannot leave. He just has to stay true with it. These are some of the people that worked against, you know, Yetola's re-election, saying the guy has nothing to, to, or to offer. He has nothing to present, you know, to Oshun State, and there was no, there was no need for such things to be, to be accepted or allowed to continue. There was no need. You know, we can't continue like that. So these are some of the things that are going on. And it is high time we begin to look at the real truth and all that it, that it entails and what we can bring to the table. What can we do differently? What can we do differently? How do we, you know, how do we, uh, you know, uh, ensure that Nigeria gets the best of leadership? Because honestly speaking, okay, uh, honestly speaking, you'll be surprised some of the things that are going on. You will be very surprised. Okay, you'll be very surprised. Some persons, they are just there trying to ensure that the ship sinks. Okay, they're doing nothing just to ensure the ship, the ship sinks. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Bye for now.